Max 2024.2, the second update for 3ds Max. And yeah, it took a little longer than usual, but we had a lot of things. We get improvements in all departments, in modeling, performance, animation, materials, rendering, and a lot more. Let's check because the list is huge. Let us start in modeling because we get a new conform modifier. It's a substitute of what was before the conform space warp. Being now a modifier, it's much more flexible, but not only that, it has way more options. It's done by scratch, obviously. And the most important of all is that it's around 10,000 times faster than the all conform space warp. It's the only conform modifier available on any application that is using Embry technology. This makes that it's super fast, even with millions and millions of polys of geometry that you are conforming from one to the other. Um, it's crazy to check it out because check these videos. Uh, you can crank up the, the number of polys and you still have real time feedback. But the cool thing is that it has multiple options. One of them is keeping the volume. So in volume, you can blend with the normals of the object that you are targeting, or you can just tell the conform to don't deform at all. In this case, the object will move to the surface, aligning it to the surface if you want with the normals, but not having any deformation at all. So it can be great to be used as an alternative to the position constraint. And you can create a lot of different setups with this, as you can see on these video examples done by different artists during the beta. The second option is the screen wrap, shrink wrap, or whatever it's called, where the object will try to wrap around the target using uh, his local direction or a helper's direction, target normals or global direction that you can specify. You can conform not only meshes, but you can conform splines as well. There's multiple options to output the distance created by this modifier as a soft selection. You can output the distance to target, uh, if it hits or not hits, a lot of different things. And you have other values like offsets to the normals of the object, the influence weight, so you can animate uh, this conform modifier in an easy way. Uh, truly, you need to test it. You can check all the examples done and yeah, awesome stuff. The data channel modifier or DCM, it's a modifier that I don't know if a lot of people is using it, but it's very flexible and can make a lot of different things with it. When you need to go on a lower level and it receives some updates. One is a max script operator. With max script, you can create uh, anything. Before you were limited to uh, whatever was created as an operator, but now with this max script operator, if you need something specific, you can write a code and use it. It has as well a new expression float.3 process operator available to be even more flexible than before. You can see here different examples by Nikolai Sketinkin that he uh, was using this max script uh, operator to create very cool stuff during the beta. And we got as well new presets available. We had an explode element where you can explode the object by elements to see the different elements, map to soft selection, random elements color, and then a smooth push that you can see the examples on these videos. By the way, all these videos are created by Chang Soeun, putting together a lot of different videos done by different artists. Thanks you a lot, Chang So. And we have as well important improvements on Boolean modifier. Now, when a capture operand is selected, the separation bar will change to a blue color. So now it's easy to differentiate when you are on a different operand than the base mesh. We have a better coplanar handling, resulting with a more reliable fractures when you use planes to cut a geometry. And improvements handling the pivot points and material IDs. And OpenBDB now supports hollow meshes. And globally, you will see a 35% boost in performance when doing booleans. So, pretty cool. A spline receives a new snap angle creation option. When creating a spline before, you could press shift or control for a relative to force the lines to be at 90 degrees. But now, pressing shift, this snap will be instead of 55 degrees. You can define this value as well to be 20, 25, 30 degrees or whatever you want on the snap menu. As you can see a lot of things, but we get much more. Uh, we got splines IDs on caps, volume select by ID and smoothing groups by ID can be animated now. Retopology has been updated to 14.0.3, working better in more complex situations and it's 30% faster as well. 
camera map now can work with an animated camera. And on false 3D pack supports now pack selected. And let's talk about performance because on this version of 3ds Max everything is much faster. We got a huge bump in performance in different areas. In volume select you will see improvements that range between 100% to 15,000 speed improvements. For example, using by mesh, you will see 500% speed increase when you don't have soft selection, but with soft selection, this speed increase can go to 1,500%. You will see speed increases across the board on volume select. And a lot of modifiers has been improved, uh, like the push modifier, relax, X-Form, X-Form is 850% faster, Boolean, as we talk about, retopology, we talk about as, as well, a skin modifier is faster, an animated splines all received uh, code improvements that will boost performance. Together with modeling, animation on this release received a lot of love. We get the motion panel that now has been converted to Qt and you can see it can resize. But it's not only that it can resize because it has been converted to Qt when you have the motion panel open, the viewport will not uh, slow down as before. It will keep more or less the same as, uh, speed improvements. It will not affect so much having the motion panel open. Motion panel now will show everything, including materials. If you have materials, you can apply and assign controllers directly from this motion panel. You can navigate using the key arrows on the keyboard, up and down. You can double click to open any menu from this menu directly. And you can use right click to add an expanded menu with copy paste uh, controllers. You can open the track view directly from here. Uh, it makes working with uh, this menu way, way easier now. Bipad and CAD received a good number of fixes and updates. Bipad list controller UI has been updated, a speed improvements using motion mixer, in CAD the capture animation UI has been improved, and a lot of fixes like a long standing when you was mirroring CAD muscles was causing to rotate around the longitudinal axis. You need to check the list because there has been multiple fixes here. Color management is not anymore a technology preview, meaning it reached a mature state of it. And yeah, it's totally usable now in production. Now this color management preference is now modeless, so you can keep it open at all times, you can dock it in any part of the UI. You can export and import any rules as a standard OSIO files. All messages are now logged on a log file. It's possible now to manually enter hex code values in color picker. OSIO has been updated to 2.2.1 and other improvements and fixes across the board on on color management. For materials, we got different fixes. Uh, we get the context right click menu is now dark if you are using dark mode. Tooltips has been restored, that was a problem in 2024.1, and fixed some problems with all keys in the material editor when we have it dock, uh, and a lot of other fixes. So check out uh, the complete list from Chang So that will be on the description of this video. We get as well improvements on Arnold that has been updated to 7.2.6.1 with improved interactivity when modifying large scenes, improved efficiency for global light sampling with indirect lighting and other improvements. But remember that that's not all. We had multiple additions to max script, reduce max file save that now it's deleting unused layers and animation layers and other fixes here and there. Remember, check out the list from Chang Soeun because he does an amazing job trying to collect all the improvements and yeah, 3ds Max 2024.2 has a huge amount of fixes, improvements, new modifiers, uh, great release. If you go on my Patreon, you will see that this month I cover three tutorials covering three of these new improvements in 3ds Max 2024.2. In one I cover modeling improvements in general. Another tutorial we are doing an overview of conform modifier with different examples to see how to use the different options that we have there. And finally the third tutorial is about the new improvements on animation. Let me know in the comments what's your preferred new addition to this update too. Uh, there are things for everyone, so if you are a modeler, you have new modifiers, new improvements on boost performance. If you are an, animate, an animator, you get as well quite a lot of things in materials. Uh, if you are into rendering, yeah, I think that it's a pretty complete new release. But let me know what's your preferred uh, new thing on the comments. Thanks.